In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get that typewriter effect in Premiere Pro. Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. Now, if you're new here, consider subscribing if you're into Adobe Premiere or filmmaking as we have a ton of tutorials on this channel. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you a really cool text effect and it's how you can get that typewriter effect. You may have seen this in some of your favorite films. So I'm gonna jump into Premiere Pro. Let's get straight into it and I'll show you how it's done. Here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now the first step is to open up a new black video and drag this onto the sequence and extend it out so we have a lot of room to play with. This is to create a background. Now go to your effects panel and select tint. Now drag this onto your clip. Now go into effects controls and turn this to white. For the next step, go to File and create a new legacy title. Call it whatever you want and click OK. Now go into this and type your text. For example, I'll just type Editor's Keys. When you've got your text, change your font and change the color to black. Adjust the size and then center it however you want to have it. Once you're happy with that, close down this window and then drag it onto your sequence. From here, go into your effects panel and find an effect called the linear wipe. Drag this onto your clip so you can emulate the typing effect. At the moment, it's actually the wrong way round as you can see. So what you need to do is change the wipe angle to 270 degrees and then change the transition completion to 100. Then put a keyframe right at the beginning, then go to around 5. Change this now to 0%. Add a keyframe and now you'll see it's in the right direction. If it's too slow, then just move this keyframe to the left and this will speed up the wipe. Play around with it until you find your preferred liking. Now add another black video layer on top of this and make sure the uniform scale box is unticked. I'm going to adjust the width to 0.3 and change the height to about 10. Now adjust the positions all the way to the left of the text and then add a keyframe here. Go to the very end of the text and then drag the line to this position and then place another keyframe. Now look through it, your text might be a little more ahead than the line, so just adjust it until it's right. It may take some time, but it will look its best when done right. When that's done, you're almost finished. Now, all you have to do is add a blinking effect to the cursor. So go to the start again, change the opacity to zero, and then add a keyframe. What you wanna do now is go across three frames and then change it to 100. Then simply go forward three frames again and then change to zero. Now, just copy and paste these keyframes throughout the whole sequence Highlight, click Control C, and then go to the last keyframe and click Control V. Now that's all done, go to the end and play, and now you should have a really nice typewriter effect. So there we go, that's just a quick tutorial and I hope that's helped. Let me know in the comments section below if it has. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.